Now on Coffee Group today we are talking discipline and how parents could be getting it very wrong. Joining us today is researcher and therapist Dr Anna Martin. Good morning. Good morning. So what sparked your interest in discipline? Oh, that sounds like a very funny question to be asking, doesn't it? <laughs> what did? Um, it's really perhaps being a mum and reflecting a little bit on my own childhood, but primarily being a mum. Mm, yes, I can definitely feel where that's coming from. Yes. So tell me a little bit about yeah. the research. Well, it was really interesting. Um, I was really interested to know whether when a discipline event happens, when there's a, some sort of conflict, what actually, how that discipline event is interpreted mm -hmm. from the parent's perspective and the child's perspective. So uh, conflict would happen, I'd race around and talk to both the parent and the child on separate, you know, separately, um, and find out what actually happened from their, you know, from their perspectives. Right. And um, invariably, parents actually had it wrong. They actually misinterpreted their child's behaviour often. Wow. It's a hard one to hear. Okay, that's a bit scary. Um, so you must have been talking to a lot of people about this. I, I was, but it's also my clinical research um, and, you know, the wider literature and my study combined. So what about the way we discipline then? So we're obviously not getting it right. <laughs> well, you know, right, wrong, not helpful comments, you know, not helpful um, yeah. labels really. It's, it's hard being a parent. You get through really, as best we can. really hard. But there are some really core things that we need to keep in mind when we're disciplining children. And I don't even really like using the word discipline because I prefer to consider it as working with children to learn to help them learn how to, to uh, behave more appropriately. So we, um, we're invariably not getting all the facts. We're not going and finding out from their perspective mm. what's happening. We usually don't ask um, for our children's perspective, so we miss a whole lot of things that have happened. And we take all our own baggage ourselves and put it onto that discipline situation. So it's quite a complex process, mm. it's more complex than people realise. So if parents can first go hold it, find out first what happened mm. from your children. Because that's the thing, we're involved in the situation ourselves, we are aren't we? So it's much hard to step involved. back and be, but we are the adults, we should be that person. So getting it wrong can actually um, be quite unhelpful for the parent-child relationship. It can. What you're trying to establish really is a, a good foundation of trust and safety so that children can come and talk to you about anything. And that is even more important as they develop. Um, because they're exposed to a lot of things now than we were when yes. we were younger. So they need a place where they can know that they can come and say, look, I've done this, I know I shouldn't have, and know that they're not going to get some sort of punitive type punishment. Mm. Because if that's going to happen, if they predict that's going to happen, they're not going to open up to you. They're not going to tell us anything, are they? No. So what should we be doing differently? Uh, asking for their opinion, ask for their voice in the process. You can still put boundaries in place, but they don't need to be punitive. It needs to be transparent. They need to be involved in you know, what's happened. So say, for example, you're going to take a device off a child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Say to them. <laughs> That's <laughs> which a great is a form really of punishment that I one. use quite frequently. Absolutely, and, and fair enough to put a boundary mm -hmm. in place, otherwise they could be on it for hours. But it's the way you, the way you do that. So say to them, look, I've noticed that you're, you're really spending too much time, and I've also noticed that your mood really changes. So I'm thinking for, the, for your health, and your well-being, it's better that we put a limit on this. So what do you think that should be? Give them an opportunity to, to buy into that process. If they can't come up with anything, say, well, I think it would be really helpful if we do X, you know, mm -hmm. only have it for an hour a day or whatever it is in your household that, that's appropriate. And this is what we're gonna do otherwise. And you need to replace it too, by the way, Laz, and replace that activity. Because if they go, well, there's, no, there's nothing to do now, they'll be even, you know, Stroppier. So yelling at them reading a book isn't going to cut it. You no, know, you have to no, go no. <laughs> Just saying, what else could you be doing? So actually come up, sit down first and say, this is the plan, what are your thoughts, have you got any you know, things that you can contribute to this? Mm, okay, yeah. I'm going to take that home tonight and do exactly all of those things you've just mentioned. <laughs> um, time outs are often used to discipline children. What are your yeah. thoughts on that sort of method? Look, that makes more sense to, to adults than it does to children. Um, with children, they might come out and say, yes, I was put into time out because mum and dad said this but they won't make any meaning, they that won't really mean anything to them. So it's really important that they make some form of meaning to what's happened. So quiet time, but no into the room, locked door, shut door, it's mm -hmm. not helpful. What about different ages? You have to change your approach to discipline with the age of the child? The language you use, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, the types of concert or the, the types of boundaries that you use, definitely. But the same philosophical approach is there. Mm, okay, well I've got a huge amount of take home from that today. Good. Thank you so much. I hope other parents have as well. I'm sure they have. Great. Thank you so much. It's You're been welcome. a pleasure.